Hey guys, uh, so I was going through setting up uh, for a festival I'm cloning into, uh, and I just was editing a view and realized this is something other people might uh, want to see. Um, so a lot of times in my views, I've got like template things that are copying from one view to another. So as I switch between these, you can see like I've got this row of macros here, uh, half row of views, another set of macros over here uh, that is consistent from page to page. And it's just different sets of groups up top that are changing. Now, I just decided to add in uh, these couple of filters that I'm going to be using for my clone setup. Um, so to add them, I'm, and in this case, it's actually not that difficult to add this in. Um, but uh, just showing you kind of a quick trick for applying template changes to your effects, or effects, views, whatever. Um, so uh, on screens two and three, I have these macros for copying to the other screen. So on screen three, I have a macro that is copy screen here. Can make this larger here. Uh, copy screen three at two, um, merge, and then I've got the same thing over here that is copy screen two at three, merge. So what this does is what it sounds like. It will copy this screen over to this screen. It'll merge, which means uh, as opposed to an overwrite where it will wipe the entire screen and then copy, uh, doing this it will only eliminate anything that is in the way. So doing that allows me to then delete whatever I don't need uh, to be updating out of this, which leaves only this this uh, couple of filters I'm going to be moving over. And I can come over here, and I will use the opposite macro to copy screen 2 at 3, and since there was nothing in the way of it, it just now adds that into that view. So now I can store that here, and come to this next clone view, do the same thing, store it in here, and so on down the line. Um, now this can be really handy, for example, if you're trying to build, um, a lot of time I'll use it for, like I've got my views set up in rows so that this, one of these rows can actually live inside of the view. Um, and, uh, I've got macros set up in a similar fashion, specifically for being able to, um, implement, uh, a row of macros, uh, in specific views that is consistent, like I showed you over here, uh, that's consistent from one copy of the view to the other view. Um, to build something like that, because this is starting like in the 1600s, uh, quick way to do it, instead of having an individual row scroll all the way down, make another row scroll all the way down, uh, and having to repeat that eight times, what you can do is come over here, I will make a macros row, and I'm just going to scroll, let's scroll down, oh, apparently that's not faster. Let's head down to, let's say, I don't know, 1200 or so, sure. So we'll start here. So I'm going to clear this side out. And now, to make a stack of those, all I have to do is copy over, move down, I'll jump down a row, copy over, move down, jump down a row, copy over. And now, in a matter of about 10 seconds, I can create a stack of individual rows that are starting way up in the thousands, um, just by having copied one template over uh, through the whole thing just to make that bigger for those of you on phones. Um, so yeah, I, I, that's that's kind of the whole concept. So anytime you need to be updating something that you'd either have to be, to be to be scrolling through a lot or you've got a whole bunch of different windows or I don't know, I just like using this for updating uh, groups of views or um, multiple views. That's probably a better phrasing. Um, so that's it for that. Um, hope this helps somebody out. Uh, I'm going to get back to what I should be doing and uh, I'll catch you guys later.